In this short video, you will learn how to edit a bibliography layout in Word while using EndNote's Cite While You Write function. To begin, we will set the output style to APA6. Notice the indent that appears for each reference. For today, I don't want these indents. I want a straight line across here. So how do I make those changes? Of course, I can't do that in Word because if I click inside of here to click Backspace, there's that possibility of me corrupting my Word document and then also my EndNote library, and that's not something I want to do. So to make those changes, I'm going to head back into EndNote, select APA 6, and I'm actually going to select the one I've been working in, APA 6, no comma. Still clicking on edit up at the top, output styles, and edit APA 6, no comma. So before we're working in citations, however, I want to change something in the bibliography. So I'm looking at bibliography and then layout. Then at the bottom right hand corner, we see hanging indent. I'm going to click on this drop down menu and change it from all paragraphs to none. I'm going to exit. It's going to ask, do you want to save these changes? Yes, I do. And then I'm going to go back into Word. And the only thing, oh, well, I actually need to change this back to AP6. And here we go. So now it is, there are no indents here. But now I want it to have numbers in front of it. So I need to go back in and make those changes because I can't add them in because once again, it's grayed out. Back into EndNote. Edit, Output Styles, Edit APA 6, no comma. Bibliography, Layout. And then in here where it says Start Each Reference With, I'm going to click Insert Field and choose Bibliography Number since I want the numbers in front of each reference. And then I also want a period, so I'm going to type that in. And I also want a space. So I'm going back into insert field and clicking on tab. So when I have a tab, and I know this by trial and error, but I will save it and then show you that this sometimes will take a few different goes because it may not look exactly how you want it to the first time. So I want when I choose a tab, for it still to be lined up in one line. For here, I'm now going to click File, Save, exit out, go into Word, and all I need to do is click Update Citations and Bibliography. It's right underneath the Output Style drop-down menu. So I have my number, I have my period, and I have my space. However, it doesn't have it all neatly lined up as I would prefer. And I had tried this out and I realized that's not what I wanted. So now you know, I need to go and make that edit one more time. And you really just need to play around with it, make it how you want it to be. Don't get frustrated if it takes you a few different times. Edit, output styles, edit AK6, no comma, bibliography, layout. And so now, because it's, we're talking about the indents, I'm going back into the bottom right hand corner, changing it from none back to all paragraphs. File, save, exit out, head into my Word document, and click update citations and bibliography. And this is exactly how I wanted it to look. Now we have, it's neatly lined up. We have the number, the period, and the space. And it's always helpful if you want to, to look at an example for a citation or bibliography from the journal that you are working with. If you have any EndNote questions, please contact the Research Medical Library at rml-help 
at mdanderson.org.